dunking on a competition like nobody else can. It's the Flex Zone Podcast, only place Cavante giving you sports how you want it. When you need it. And what you need right now is those NBA draft profiles. We did them for the NFL prospects. You guys love them. We got some good feedback. We enjoy doing them. So we're back again with the NBA. Not as many players, only 60 picks in the NBA draft, two rounds, Cavante. But we're back again, and I got my right hand man, the voice of reason, captain of the goofy ship, the commander himself. What's up, brother? Hey, man, what's good, man? We back at it with the profiles again, brother. And this time, less is more. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I absolutely. So, so it's interesting because I was, I was literally just thinking about this earlier, and the. It, it, it's it's harder to pinpoint great uh, good to great talent out of the NBA draft versus the NFL draft because the NFL draft you got you playing this one position and that and that's it either you're good at it or you're not you know what I'm saying but in the NBA it seems like the bus the bus radar is a lot higher it, it, it it's little it's literally a crapshoot I mean all drafts are a crapshoot but it seems like the NBA is definitely a crapshoot like the no more overall pick may not get you there man agreed agreed a lot of times it could be an undrafted guy or a guy in the second round or somebody from overseas you never heard of sometimes to get you to the promised land and a lot of times in the nba draft if you can name five players from a draft then you're lucky in the nba right right that's a fact (laughs) so we're back again and we're starting at the top we know the orlando magic Oklahoma City Thunder and the Houston Rockets have the top three picks. And I believe Cravante, the top three players in this draft, are head and shoulders above the rest. Not saying it's a great draft, but these are the best three prospects we're going to talk about. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. And we're Um, kicking it off with the guy who could go one. uh, Oh, we going Jabari Smith, right? Yes, real quick, let me give you his background. Jabari Smith, power forward out of Auburn, 6'10", 220 pounds. He is a freshman Mr. Smith averaged 16.9 points, 7.4 rebounds, two assists, a block, one steal, 43% field goal percentage, 42% from three, 79.9 from the free throw line. He played one season in Auburn, as I mentioned, five-star recruit, decided to play at Auburn, had a number two seed in the tournament, lost in the second round, mentioned he averaged 17 and seven, and he pretty much rose to the top, Gravante as the number one prospect potentially in this draft what do you see when you look at jabari smith strengths weaknesses and other notes from your draft profile um so it is a lot to like a lot to love about jabari smith um i believe he's going to be the first overall pick in my opinion he he should be the first overall pick um i believe of the top three guys that we're going to speak on throughout our uh profiles this is the number one guy. Um, no one, he's a great jump shooter. Uh, um, great, great jump shooter. Um, and also, uh, you, you went down his height and all that. He's 6'10. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is what the NBA is slowly becoming. Um, it, it's, it's not, uh, uh, like when we were younger, you were 6'10, you was on a block. You know what I'm saying? Now, 6'10, you could be anywhere. <laughs> and, a lot of folks that are six ten are shooters now. We they, we we even created a swing full position just to say, all right, this person's six foot ten, but he play on the wing. You know what I'm saying? And that's and that's this guy right here. Um, great jump shooter. Um, they call it a a, a pitcher perfect shot. Um, he can be an elite scorer, and he's very versatile on the defensive side of the ball. Um, he has the ability to be the next um, two way um superstar and also he's extremely focused uh and um extremely competitive um auburn and he he definitely shed some light on auburn basketball um this year now unfortunately charles barkley still end up crying at the end of the day but that's neither <laughs> but that's neither here nor there because his brother has nba um top top pick potential and um yeah, he 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 has the potential to be uh, a a star at on two on two way sides on you know uh, along the lines of like a Kawhi Leonard, Clay Thompson type of type of guy. Um, now, one thing if I if I have to nitpick, which we do at the top pick, um, ball handling. 
ball handling um is not great um he has a great jump shot but with all great jump shooters you need a little bit of space not much you need a little bit of space so uh he can he could he could stand to improve his um his ball handling to help him cre then create space um to get that such a beautiful shot off well, when you look at his game, Cravante, we've seen the highlight dunks. We've seen his ability to shoot the ball, which we know is primary at the NBA position. Six foot ten. Let's say he goes to the Magic. Looking at that roster, last year they took Jalen Suggs. They got Cole Anthony Jr. Um, Greg Anthony's son, Cole Anthony. And I think Mo Bamba's down there. I'm just trying to name off the top of my head some players with the magic. You're and doing good. You're doing you're doing a <laughs> phenomenal job, brother. <laughs> I'm just think I think Four no Fournier's gone. He's gone. Lord Jesus. But if you add Jabari Smith, let's see goes number one, which I think we both agree on. I actually have come to terms where he will be the number one pick. How yeah. does he fit in with Orlando? And what do you see him comparing to as an NBA player? Who does he compare to? Um he the Orlando Magic. It, it's interesting because the Orlando Magic and the Oklahoma City Thunder are injected with so much youth and so much energy. I think he's going to bring that exactly to the Orlando Magic, but he's also bring a sense of more competition amongst the uh, amongst the young boys because this guy's a competitor right there. Like he he's competing. He's trying to be the number one option. You know what I'm saying? But also, he's bringing it on the defensive side of the ball. So I think uh, with raising the, the level of competition in Orlando, hey, maybe maybe they'll, they'll, they'll lean a little bit more on the uh, defensive side of the ball because, I mean, all the guys you name are young and can either shoot or score. So, you know, he's bringing both. Um, hopefully, um, this can elevate the Orlando Magic as a team. Okay, Orlando Magic fans, don't get mad at me. I got some names for you. Gary Harris, Cravante, Robin Lopez, RJ Hampton. What we got? Uh, Jonathan Isaac, Wendell Carter Jr., Terrence Ross, Bull Bowles there, Markel Fultz, Franz Wagner, and I talk about Bamba, Anthony, and Suggs as well. So a lot of youth, as you mentioned, probably nobody who's been in the league more than, what, five years max? Yeah. <laughs> so, and, you know, a lot of youth, I'll say that. But the future could be very bright if they take Jabari Smith and he is who we think he is. I, I, but I think, I think the future is bright. It's just unfortunate because Orlando, the, with them being a small market town, they have to hit. They absolutely have to hit on that draft picks. I mean, Shaquille O'Neal, Dwight Howard. You know what I'm saying? These are guys that like really turned the tide. For um, an Orlando Magic, an Orlando Magic team in Orlando, Florida town, um, so they 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 have to hit because you know you ain't get no free agents coming. And most importantly, Gramonte, their head coach is a brother. We talked about half the coaches in the NBA are black. Jamal Mosley is their head coach. I think going into a second season, so we're rooting for you here on the Flex Zone. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, we, you know well. We love to see it. That, that that that's one thing. Well, that's one of many things that the NBA has done better than the NFL, and that's diversity. Um, just 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 to say it's, it's half. We would never fix our lips to say that for the NFL, but maybe maybe one day, but definitely not now. But let us know in the comments what you think about Jabari Smith. Do you have a pro comparison, Cravante, specifically? Do you have a guy that you see when you look at him, six ten, can shoot? Not throwing any names out. What do you think? So okay, so I'm gonna go back. I, I I'm, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back for this. Once I looked up, I was looking at some comparison. And I was like, you know what? How about this? I, I, I'm I'm gonna mess them up. I'm gonna mess them up with this one a little bit, Byron. Um, so I have a mixture. Do you remember Rashard Lewis? Supersonic, great. He he gives me those vibes mixed with a little bit of KG. Mm, okay. Okay, with the defense and the uh, intensity. Yeah, with, exactly, with the defense and with the intensity that Kevin Garnett brings and the shooting ability that Rashad that um that Rashad Lewis had. So that's my that's that that's my comparison. And if I remember correctly, I think Rashad Lewis was on the Magic team with Dwight Howard that made it to the finals. I, 
Yes, yes, because it was Dwight Howard and a bunch of shooters. <laughs> Turk Lou, I think Tur- Tur- my Lou yeah. was on the team. So, yeah, a lot of shooting. Good one. I like that one, Kevontae. Definitely took us way back with that. Let us know, Magic fans, NBA fans, what do you think about Jabari Smith? If he goes number one, you're paying with Jalen Suggs, Hampton, and Anthony. Could have a nice young core and a young coach, and hopefully they give them time, Kevontae. Patience in Orlando. Uh, listen, in Orlando, you have nothing but time. You, you better be patient. Would you? What you gonna do? Get better? <laughs> you 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 don't just you can't just say you you're not in L.A. where you could just be like oh, I could find somebody better. No, you ought to be patient, just like OKC. And we'll talk about them on our next profile, Cravante, as we get into who could fall to them at number two. They are known for their draft picks. Plenty of draft picks in the next couple years. I'll get into detail about that in the next video. But make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that bell. Most importantly, subscribe. Join the Flex Home family. Cravante, we hit them with a few more, ain't we? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. We, we, we got a couple more in the arsenal. We'll be looking forward to it. Magic fans, let us know. Auburn fans, let us know. Jabari Smith, what do you think about him? Will he be the number one pick taken? For Cravante, I'm God's favorite host. We'll be back with another draft profile real soon. Peace.